Hey everybody, welcome to my uh, January recap video. I am not using a sticker kit, so I did go ahead and put down like the days. I put down some foil date covers um, just to go like under the days to make them look a little fancier. And then I did put on hole protectors. I am going to put down some washi to decorate it a little bit and then I will come back and talk through my highlights for the month. Okay, bear with me as I am kind of figuring out what I want to do with these videos. Oops, that is blurry. <laughs> um, so I did go ahead and decorate it with washi, which was definitely the plan. And um, I guess I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna put the month here, but all I have is really tiny ones. So, I'm going to see if I can kind of color it in with like mild liners or something. I don't know. We'll see if it turns out badly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that this is going to turn out well, but oh well. Probably should have tried this like off camera or something but no well, that's not no no it really doesn't look great on camera when I look at it well and then some kind of like I don't know I feel like this looks like it's indigo or something maybe um it no it's too wet right now okay I'm just gonna leave it it is what it is right now <laughs> I'm not used to using anything with like markers, so you know, I kind of forgot you have to like let it dry and not oversaturate it. So, um, we've got the month there from McPlans. It looks kind of weird, but I might add some stickers after I film this. Uh, then these days stickers are from Leonard Designs. Uh, the washi is from various places. A lot of this on the side, I'm pretty sure, is Simply Gilded. I have no clue where I got that one from. And then that is from SPC but I am like 99% sure she does not do washi anymore. So um, I've just got a ton of washi and I am wanting to use it. So this was the way I thought of that I could. So January 1st, I did mark that it was New Year's Day. So I've got this Happy New Year script from McPlans. And the icon for 2024 is from Carly Plans, which I do PR for Carly Plans. So if you use Laurel 15, you will get my freebie and a discount and Laurel Minutes during any kind of sale. That does come in a random font, but that one is in font three. On January 2nd, I did mark that it was Shannon's birthday, who is uh, my sister-in-law to be. So I'm gonna try this. This is like a friction highlighter. So it's supposed to be erasable. So I guess my thought process is if I don't like how it looks, I can take it off. Um, 
yeah this is kind of like a dry marker which is probably not the worst thing but hmm. okay well <laughs> I thought I was gonna be cute and not use boxes but now I'm kind of like maybe I should have <laughs> um gosh I'm just really hoping I can write on this Okay, well, I kind of can. So on the third, I really just didn't have anything that I deemed worth marking. Oh, why am I skipping ahead? <laughs> However, on the fourth, I did have a few things. So uh, this was National Spaghetti Day. And um, like all of these like fun holiday um, doodles and scripts are going to be from McPlans. And then I did drive to Nashville with Sarah because we were going on a little trip to go to a concert and just kind of explore. So uh, that took up a good chunk of the day. And then while we did have a good evening, I ended up twisting my ankle at the end of the night, so that really sucked. Um, it was memorable, but not in a good way. Okay, so I did just decide I didn't like how that highlighter looked under the text, so I did erase it, and it pretty much came off, but it did smudge the pen, so... I, I wasn't sure what I would do. <laughs> um, so I think I'm just going to not really use the highlighter like I had initially planned to. Maybe I'll find another way to bring it in next month. But I think this month I'm just going to stick to putting stuff on the paper and leaving the white behind it. Um, I just really wanted to like do something with highlighters again because in my um like high school planners I would like write song lyrics with highlighters and decorate it and stuff and um I mean I've been doing some form of decorative planning since like junior high so I don't know I just kind of wanted to go back to like the basics <laughs> um not that I'm going to stop sticker planning, like the other sticker planning that I do, but I just kind of wanted to try something different. So on the 5th, I did mark National Burn Day, and then in my terrible handwriting um, that we went to Centennial Park that day. Um, if you don't know, there is a uh, Taylor Swift lyric that is talking about like the grass at Centennial Park um, and sitting to read there. I'm not like saying the lyric. I just am paraphrasing because if I say it, I'll probably sing. Um, <laughs> oh crap, that was supposed to go. So that was kind of a highlight of the day for Sarah and I. Um, it was really fun and I'm really glad we got to go because we weren't a hundred percent sure with me hurting my ankle, what I was really going to be able to do. Um, Sarah was just going to go like to the park without me if I wasn't able to, but, um, I'm really glad I got to, the weather was really pretty. It was like 50 out and we got some fun pictures. We just had a good time. Um, and then that is from the Coffee Monsters Co. This is from Once More With Love. So the next day, um, we did go see Motion City Soundtrack in concert. And uh, we did like last minute-ish, um, we decided to do VIP. Like we got the tickets ahead of time, but it was maybe a month or two after we had bought the regular tickets so um we did 
go to that concert and um, like we had VIP, which was amazing. I have never done that at a concert before, but it was just, if you can afford it to, with your favorite band, I would highly recommend because it was amazing and yeah. <laughs> Um, I definitely do talk more about it in my plan with me for that week, but I was just kind of like starstruck and I mean, I know they're just people and I realized that when I was in the room with them, but, um, just meeting these people that I've created this music I've been listening to for like over half my life was very surreal. Um, and the concert, we were just so close. It was just the coolest um I mean I don't want to say the coolest experience I've had at a show because I don't really know that I could pick one but it was just really unique I guess so on the 8th I did mark that it was national bath day I did not remember to take a bath that day I mean but I'm not saying like I didn't shower I just didn't take a bath um and then I did start physical therapy again. So there wasn't anything like crazy that day, but that just was something that was um, different. <laughs> so I like my therapist. Uh, she's good and physical therapy has been going well, but I, I mean, it's not something that's, like, exciting to talk about, I guess. <laughs> uh, then on the 9th, we had no internet for a pretty good portion of the day. So that was unfortunate. That really sucked. And, yeah, I just kind of realized t the extent to which I rely on it now by not having it for, I don't know, 12 hours. <laughs> But, yeah, that was crazy. We got spoiled when we were in Kansas City because we had Google Fiber there and we virtually never had issues with it. So, uh, now that we have Spectrum, again, it's just not as good. <laughs> so, on the 10th, I did watch the Eras Tour movie with... Uh, my friends Sarah and Christine and um, Sarah and I both had a chance to watch it but we did not watch it together when it was in theaters and uh, Christine was not able to see it in theaters unfortunately um, but this was just such a fun night so I always love spending time with them, but it was just really cool to watch the movie together because um, it's quite a production and I've seen it multiple times and I still notice like different things when I watch it. So yeah, so it was really awesome. Um, the day after that, I did mark that I drew because um, one of the goals I have had this year for myself that I just felt like I feel like I haven't been able to really work on as much as I want has been to draw. Um, I was planning on five days a week, but I think I'm just going to try to shoot for like two or three and then build it up to more so I'm not so overwhelmed. But I did start drawing again some that day, so I just thought that was kind of important for me to note. Uh, then on the 12th, I did mark a few different things. It was National Sticker Day, so of course I couldn't leave that out. Um, I went to a brewery with my mom. Uh, it was an event for my niece, but... Um, I wanted to mark it both because it was an event for her and because I went to a brewery with my mom, which I just think is very funny. So, um, <laughs> cause she does not drink. So it just made me laugh a little bit, <laughs> but, uh, she did drive us there. So, oh my gosh, what is my pen doing? 
So on the way back, it did snow uh, because I was spending the night at my mom's that night since it was fairly late and I live over an hour away. So uh, she did drive us back in the snow, but it was really pretty snow. And then when we got back to her house, we watched uh, the remainder of the Chiefs game, which they were playing the Dolphins this day. I've always been marking that this season in my planner. So I thought it was fun because I always watch football games by myself. And I will sometimes watch them with my friend Sarah, but... Unless I'm like spending the night at her house, I'm probably not watching them with her. So uh, it was just fun to watch them with my mom because she was asking me a lot of questions and I'm not like a football expert by any means, but I was surprised at the amount I was able to answer without Googling. And then on the 13th, I did see the Mean Girls movie musical with Sarah. I really liked it. Um, I don't get why it's being so hated on. I talked again more about that in my plan with me, but I thought it was a fun time. Just don't go into it expecting it to be exactly like the Broadway production if you have seen that. Um, just based on everything I've seen on the internet, it's fairly different. But as a movie in general, as a um, reimagining of Mean Girls in a musical, I thought it was great. And then on the 14th, I did mark uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day and National Winnie the Pooh Day, which I didn't know that was a thing, but that's really cute, and I love the little sticker for that. So, since I seem to be doing more rambling on this, if you want to know where any stickers are from, just ask me. Um because I know I haven't been saying where they are all from. So I didn't have anything to mark. Oh crap, that was the wrong day. Okay, so I'm kind of mad at myself. <laughs> I just looked at my list and because I skipped a few days, I think that's why I got thrown off. Um, so I didn't have anything to mark on the 9th. That was supposed to be blank. So that was on the 10th, 11th, 12th. 13th, 14th, and 15th. So I cannot move that many stickers. So I'm just going to leave them. But, and, and it's going to bother me, but it's fine. I will just not look at this again after I do it. Um, so, anyways, <laughs> I didn't have anything to mark on the 16th and the 17th. And then National Bagel Day was on the 18th, which I really should have eaten a bagel because I do have gluten-free bagels, but I have not been paying attention to these little, like, wacky holiday things as they've been happening, so maybe I should do that for February. Um, then on the 19th, it was National Penguin Day, which, again, that's such a cute little character. I love the pigs in onesies. So on the 20th, that was National Popcorn Day. I'm like double checking and triple checking my list at this point because I'm paranoid I'm going to get stuff on the wrong day. Maybe I shouldn't skip days next time I do this. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I just, I didn't want to be like jam sesh on the 7th. Like there was nothing I did that day, so... And on the 21st, we beat the Bills, so of course I had to put that in. Uh, playoff season has been quite exciting, which as the time of this filming, we are, the Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl, so of course that's exciting, being a Chiefs fan. Um, Chiefs-Bills games are always stressful because my father-in-law is a Bills fan, <laughs> so... I'm glad I wasn't at their house watching it. On the 22nd, I had to mark that it was my baby Evie's birthday. She turned six, which is wild. I cannot believe she's already six. Um, 
which means we had her for almost six years because, of course, we didn't get her right when she was born. But, yeah, I just can't believe it. She's so sassy, but she really is sweet. She just doesn't want people to know it. But I am just really grateful. Um, I'm grateful for both my dogs, but... Evie is the first dog I've ever had. Like, growing up, we didn't have dogs or anything. So, I didn't know what to expect when we got her. And, wow, was it a lot more work than I expected. But, so, so worth it. We gave her, like, a special dinner and stuff for her birthday. Uh, then, on the 23rd, I used... <laughs> I wish I didn't already have to use one of these little well-shit banners. But, that's okay. Um, basically the 23rd, everything that could go wrong for me did go wrong that day. I went to the DMV, which I should have known was going to be a bad day, but I was like, it'll be fine. I have everything I need. Well, you know, I didn't have everything I need. I had to go back to my house and get something. And so then... I got it. I got a marriage license because they told me that I needed one in order to get a real ID, which is not true. If you look at the website for like Missouri's, um, well, I guess it wouldn't be even just specifically the Missouri one. It's just the real ID information. You don't need one, but they told me I did kind of ran around trying to get one. And then in the end just couldn't get a real ID. So that in and of itself was frustrating, but you know, not like the worst thing. However, I also like, I found out they discontinued my favorite flavor of White Claw or they are discontinuing it. Um, which was like a little thing, but I also stepped in a puddle and I also was frustrated from the DMV and then I just tossed my phone in my purse, like gently. I didn't like throw it into a side pocket where there was nothing like keys or anything. And the screen just like broke. So it didn't shatter, but there was like a green line across it that was not going away. Um, so the pixels got messed up somehow. So it was just a really crappy day, but the day after was a really good day because it was the day before Sarah's birthday. So we did spend that together. And I guess it was also National Peanut Butter Day that day, but um, we did go like to the bar to cheers um, we stayed out until about midnight and then we left after, um, to cheers for her birthday and then we went back to her house and hung out. We just had a really fun night. So I just marked that with drinks <laughs> because I didn't want to use like another Sarah sticker. So, um, then the 25th I did mark that it was her actual birthday and on the 26th, I'll show it real quick while I am talking. Um, I went to physical therapy again. And the 27th, we did go see, um, well, we went to St. Louis and we went to Vintage Vinyl, which was the first record store I've ever been in. So that was really exciting, overwhelming and expensive, but uh, we had a good time. And then we did go see We The Kings in concert, and that was amazing. We just, we had so much fun. Like, neither of us had danced like that in a, at a concert in an extremely long time. So, um, it was just a really good experience, and we got just immersed in the music. So, I thought my parents and was messing up, but I think it's that the paper is thick, but this is a learning experience. <laughs> um, so the concert was just awesome. I'm not going to go on and on about it, but 
so fun. And then the 28th was National Lego Day, and then the Chiefs won the game that day, so we were the AFC champions, or are the AFC champions. And uh, the next day, the 29th, I did not have anything to mark, but I did that thing again. Let's see if I can pull these up. <laughs> Okay, that worked. So the 29th, nothing to mark. So on the 30th, it was National Croissant Day, which I don't eat croissants. I don't actually even like croissants. Um, like before I went gluten-free, I didn't really like them because they're just, I don't know, they're just really dry. Um, but... I'm so going to mark it because I have stickers. And then this day I got my phone fixed or so I thought, but more on that in February or just in a plan with me. <laughs> um, and then the Vanderpump Rules premiere was this night. So I was really excited. I did get to watch it like while it was happening because my friend lets me use her cable so. <laughs> so that was really exciting I got to like watch it and text Christine about it and I cannot wait for the next episode and then the 31st is National Hot Cocoa Day and that was also my niece Abby's birthday which she's 11 now which is wild again like <sighs> I just can't believe how quickly everybody is growing up. <laughs> um, but I have lived apart from family for about seven years. So it makes sense. So this is everything for the month. Just kind of highlights of the month and then the fun little holidays. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will try to make this less of a hot mess next time, but see you in the next one.